about two, two and a half years ago, we started this company to sort of furnish a new, a new gourmet movement in the food trucks. Um, Kogi was the first launch. Uh, they came to us with an idea for Korean-Mexican fusion. And uh, we're all familiar with Kogi now, and they really they exploded a whole new uh, use for what was an existing business model. That model was really taco trucks. It was the regular white roach coaches that were um, serving construction sites and city buildings, jails, things like that. That business had been in existence for 40 years. Other people came to us and said, hey, we have an idea for you know, a fried chicken truck or a kosher taco truck. Um, and all these new chefs and new entrepreneurs um, wanted to try and replicate that model. And I developed the concept actually in Tucson, Arizona. I was working in a restaurant and we are in a debate about the Sonoran hot dog of Tucson and I was telling about the deep fried hot dog of New Jersey. And uh, I just said I was going to open up a hot dog shop called My Greasy Winter Hot Dog Shop. People laughed, thought it was funny, it was kind of the talk for about 20 minutes. Bought a box of t-shirts, had a logo made, people bought them up. Ended up buying a hot dog cart and started vending dogs and t-shirts in Tucson, brought it to San Diego. So my brother told me about the big uh, splash up here with Kogi. Checked them out, checked out what else was going up here. I thought, you know, I've done it on a small level, let's just give it a shot up here. Um, our first goal was to start a building, but yeah, we saw Kogi was doing their food out of a truck. Um, so we thought, you know, our operation is pretty simple, so maybe we could try it. and. Um, you know, we got in the truck, came down the road stoves, and um, you know, a few months later, we were in the first cluster of trucks, maybe like the first 15 or 20. We had one truck, and um, about eight months later, we got our second. So we've had two trucks for about six, seven months now. And um, currently, we're getting ready to push out our Orange County truck for uh, probably early May. So we'll have three. So what was sort of an existing traditional food truck, commissary, uh, route business became sort of a, a gourmet, upscale, um, leasing, um, technology, Twitter, social media uh, enterprise. And what you're seeing today is, is the fruits of their labor, the fruits of our labor, and the fruits of all these great chefs and great entrepreneurs who have taken to the streets and um, taken this you know, economic downturn and turned it into, uh, you know, lemonade from lemons, so to speak.